Imagine you're on Drabstagram, a social media platform where users share a fixed supply of 32 hearts. When you heart someone's post, your total number of hearts goes down by one and theirs goes up by one. Right now, the only users on Drabstagram are Burn, Norma, Gamma, and Beta. However, not everyone is Drabstagram friends with each other. If two people are connected by a line, they can anonymously exchange hearts with one another, but not otherwise. Assume that every day, Drabstagram users must give away all of their hearts in the following way. They write the names of all their Drabstagram friends on identical slips of paper and put them in a hat. They then choose a name at random and give one of their hearts to the user chosen. This process is repeated until the user has given away all of their hearts. Once every user has completed this process, their heart totals are re-updated to the new amounts. In a sense, the 32 hearts are freely circulating from user to user, with each user randomly deciding who to send their hearts to next. This is called a Markov chain, named as such since it obeys the Markov property. Let's follow the journey of a single heart for now. By the Markov property, the probability that some user has the heart a day from now, given that we know who had the heart every day since the founding of Drabstagram, doesn't change if we only look at who has the heart now. In other words, Given the present, the past is independent of the future. This is because each user doesn't care who sent them the heart, or who sent the heart to the person who sent them the heart. Their decision about whose post to like next depends only on who they are friends with. One interesting thing to look at is what the distribution of hearts is across accounts at any point in time. Let's say that when Drabstagram was created, each user was given 8 hearts. Since everyone gives away all of their hearts every day, our initial intuition could be that every user's heart count stays more or less the same over time. However, this is not the case. Notice that Norma has three friends on Drabstagram while Beta only has one, so there are three times as many people who could potentially send her hearts. It turns out that for a reversible Markov chain like this, where every connection is two-way, the long run or stationary distribution of hearts is proportional to the number of connections each user has. For example, since Norma has three connections and there are eight connections in total since each one is two-way, in the long run, Norma will end up with about three-eighths of the total hearts. If the four users stay active on Dropstagram for long enough, we will see that Norma will end up with about 12 hearts, with Burn and Gamma having around eight and Beta having around four. Stationary distributions and the Markov property have made Markov chains an extremely useful model to use for real-world problems. Thanks for watching.